good morning guys welcome back to my channel i thought we could have a little sunday reset together just washed my hair washed all the oils out and i've got leave-in conditioner so <laughs> please excuse that resetting feeling good gonna dye my eyebrows in a minute hope everybody's well everyone's having a nice sunday or whatever day that you're watching this so today we are going food shopping I uh, just gotta get a few bits. I hate going food shopping on Sunday, I don't know about anybody else. It's always so busy on a Sunday. I feel like this is the best brush to scrape your hair back. Can't even tell what this actually looks like from the back. Is that bad? I can never make it look good, I don't know how people do, but. So this is the eyebrow dye that I like to use. It's from Boots, it's like nine pound I think it is. Used to be eight, but cost of living. So before doing my brows, because this can get a little bit messy. A little bit of Vaseline, a cotton bud. Oh no, need to brush my eyebrows up first. That would be a start, wouldn't it? Just to try and save myself getting any dye underneath my brows. I can't wait to do brows eventually. What is this cotton bud? Is it all right? Really, really struggling with the lashing. The problem is, is that you need to practice all the time and it's all well and good practicing on like plastic dolls, but it's just not the same as like practicing on a person. Yeah, I got trained like back in May and obviously it's January, 2024 now, but I feel like the renovations have just taken over my life and I just haven't had the time. I started a new job um in like october 23 like i just i just haven't really got around to practicing i really need to put like, my heart and soul in it this year i feel like this year is the year for success so i originally went to the lash academy in london it really was a basic course there was loads of us in there probably about 20 of us and one lady trying to train us all and bless her she was lovely but like feel that if I were to go back in time I would go with someone where I can get a one-to-one -one, it's personal and go through things like I've been having some extra training with um Ellie Stone Lash Academy I had one lesson with her and I learned so much more she's just incredible I'm gonna be going back to her when I've got the time um to get some more training done so far I've lashed my mum and my best friend Frankie um, and it went okay, it's just back breaking and like, I feel like I haven't got all the equipment that I need. But we'll slowly get there, you know, like, I can imagine there's been a lot of lash techs that are incredible now. Previously, they thought about giving up and I've thought about giving up so many times. I mean, kind of wish I'd started with brows. I feel like that probably would have been the better thing and then I would have been up and running by now. Too much pressure on myself for these things. I'm a slow learner as well. I'm dyslexic. I never knew that I had dyslexia. Well, we always had a bit of an idea when I was running out of time in every exam. But I didn't find out at school. I went to a terrible school um, in Dover. I always um, run out of time in my exams and I always wondered why and like I always felt like the odd one out and like I was always in sort of middle sets. I was never in bottom sets or anything like that. I went in the Navy. I had to um, do exams and stuff um, and I ran out of time on one of them and so they tested me for learning difficulties um, yeah and then it came back that I was dyslexic and I was like oh, it kind of makes sense kind of thinking it might be a bit of ADHD as well but who knows who knows I'm really not going to test myself for that I don't really need to know that um, I'd rather not because I'll just label myself as something all the time I'd just rather not I'd just rather live my Happy little bubbly Annie self. Just get on with it and we all learn in different ways and we just got to kind of accept that, I guess. So at the moment we've got my friend's cat. Um, my friend, my best friend. <laughs> Her name's Kiki, she's so cute. My friend's in the army, so when she goes away and stuff, we always look after our cat and we love it. That's right. I've got to leave these on for probably about, I mean, they usually stay on here. I think it's like five minutes but i definitely leave my yeah five minutes maximum i definitely leave mine on for like 10 15 minutes okay i think it's been about 10 minutes now so i'm gonna take that off 
to use a little cotton pad and just some micellar oil. All good. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. It's worked a treat. We have brows. We have brows now. I feel like it's nothing bad. All I do every day is just wake up and put mascara on. That's the only thing I do. Unless I'm going out, I won't actually wear makeup makeup, but I don't see the point. I've been getting really into my skincare routine now though. Um I'm doing that every day, my face feels so soft. Okay, this is my brows afterwards. They look so much better, so much cleaner looking. Okay, if you haven't got onto this mascara yet, you need to. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. It does wonders. I'll show you the lash serum that I use. I've been using the Glow For It lash serum. I found that on TikTok. Uh, their business, honestly, incredible. Like, look at the lashes. It's insane. Just take a moment for the before and after with mascara and without. I feel so much more refreshed now. I've got my brows done, got the mascara on, and we are ready to go shopping. Before we head to the shops, let's get some perfume on. This is my favourite one to, at the moment. Oh my god, if you haven't smelled this, I recommend. It's called Prada Prodoxo. Prodox? Prodox? It's the intense one. I always get the intense of everything if I can. Um, it lasts longer, you don't need as much, although I always put about 20 sprays on of everything. Mm, smells insane. Every week me and Josh are out a menu for the week so we know exactly what to buy because sometimes I finish work at like 7. I'm the cook in the house, Josh, um, it's a nice poor day. Say hi cakes. Say hi. Go get the shopping now. I'm gonna go to Lidl's and then Tesco's. We always do that. Go Lidl's first and then whatever we can't get Lidl's we go to Tesco's for, so. Mm, hits good. Hits good. Hits different every time. Oh my God. It's on. It's eight degrees, there's no fucking way it's eight degrees. That's definitely like minus eight. Josh has just gone into screw fix. Josh is a plumber, so he's always buying tools. I, I mean, all the fucking time. He's getting tools. He's obsessed. And then we're gonna head to Lidl's. We're gonna have a look in the bakery, obviously, obviously. And then Tesco's. I'm gonna have a look at the home wire today. I'm gonna see if I can get some bits in there as well. <laughs> oh, so much for slicking my hair back. Be 
some muffins, but there's only crumpets. So, not gonna be getting that. Where are you going, Jessica? How nice are these mugs? Okay, we're back. Secure the goods. We could not film in there, it was so busy, and I got camera shy. I'm gonna show you what we got. So, from Lidl, we got wrap, eggs, got some pasta, some red onions, risotto, which this one's the garlic one, the regular peach slices, some pink ladies, because these are the best apples and you can't change my mind. Got some potatoes, I'm gonna have jacket potatoes with you. Like I said, we were going to the bakery and we got two white chocolate chip cookies, golden syrup, oats, risotto. Got this smoky barbecue peri peri. I thought it'd be nice to go and check it. Some basil pasta, some cream of tomato soup. Got some kiwis. Stocking up for my mum's birthday because I'm throwing her a surprise birthday party. Um, she doesn't watch YouTube, so I'm not worried about this being out here. Um, but yeah, just gonna get all the booze together. Cause I'm gonna be making lots of cocktails because it's gonna be like an 80s party. Um, got some cream chicken soup. 80s theme party because my mum loves the 80s so kiwi and some tuna that's the act oh my god it's so heavy we've got crisps josh will eat the majority of these he's obsessed with crisps right to do these are josh's these are the peach ones pepper some prawns mushroom single cream some chicken some blueberries extra mature cheddar if you like mature cheddar, grow up. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, we've got some protein pots. I've got a blueberries one. I've got some strawberries. And this one looks really nice. It's raspberry and pomegranate. Some milk. Some cloudy apple juice. And the last bag we've got is from Tesco's. <laughs> some monster mud. Josh really wanted this. We'll tease it. Easter eggs. Easter eggs are out in January, right? Obviously, you know. It's a bit early, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it because Easter chocolate is the best. Got a little caramel, Cadbury's caramel Easter egg. <laughs> Got things for the toilet, flora. This one smells incredible. It's Philadelphia. I'll be making some pasta with that. Pasta to go with. New brush because I want some disgusting. Some garlic bread, some bananas. Oranges. I haven't seen oranges out in ages and these are pears. Just some reduced fat mozzarella because I'm going to be making um, pizzas this week on Friday um, with Greek yogurt and flour. I don't know if you've ever seen those but oh my god they taste incredible. Um, it was our shopping trip so I'm going to put this all away now. Have some lunch. I'm not even joking. I think it's like yeah. I say lunch and it's like three. It's 25 to four. <laughs> but yeah we're going to have some lunch now. And chill out for the afternoon and then I'm gonna get some cleaning done as well at some point. Upstairs. Unserrated blade. It abide instantly. And is there any chance of having another best find out with it, Denny? bloody cold we've just put the heating on gonna go get a cup of tea might have some bickies sunday comforts and then i'll get on with the cleaning we're just watching liar at the moment um we're on season two now so we're finding out what's going on obviously not going to say anything unless you've watched it oh my god sundays honestly throw me off so bad let's get a little candle lit I can't wait to get this fireplace done. It's so dated and horrible, but I can get it in there. This one is such a lovely candle from Yankee. Although I wouldn't get Yankee all the time, but Lidl's do this one, which is called Plum and Rosewood. And I kid you not, that's like two or three pounds and it smells incredible. See, when I said in my last video about that we're going to take our time with things. I still haven't got two cushions for here. I've just been taking my time. I haven't found one that I like yet. 
So it's only got one cushion, but we never literally, never ever sit on this sofa. This sofa is always just, this is our comfort sofa here, as you can tell while we've been sitting on it. <laughs> We've had such a chilled, nice day. So it's time to sort this bedroom out. Yeah, I've got all this washing to sort out. I've got more in the tumble dryer. What are you doing? Hmm? Keep her. Yeah. Keep her. Smoked paprika, onion seasoning. I think that's enough. Uh, what else do we need? Other pasta. Yeah, so what I do is usually I pre boil the pasta a little bit so it doesn't go like solid solid. So it's a little bit soft. And then I put it in the ninja um, and slow cook it all. The chicken will go in the ninja on the grill bit. This is the ninja speedy that we've got like there so this is like the little grill bit and then it's got like a whole pot inside okay one day i was really sad and josh was like oh i've got a present for you and i was like what is it like obviously something little this poor lady walks down our drive towards the front door and she's carrying this and i was like what is that opened it up and it was this he bought us a ninja i mean he says it's a present for me but it's definitely a present for us because he knows i'm going to cook him some good dinners in this and we, we literally use this every day it literally has so many different settings on it it's a 10 in one so it's not quite an air fryer but it's it is an air fryer but like it's got more to it like, sorry it gets quite dirty um it's got like speedy mills steam air fryer steam bake steam grill air fry bake roast dehydrates Sis, I don't know how you say that. Um, that's basically like when you're frying, um, and then slow cook.
What are you filling your basket with now? Tools. Tools. Shock. Mm. You're in tools. You're obsessed. Look. I mean, it's 180 quid. I'm not mad at it. Well, I either spend 180 quid or 115. The 115 one is not good. Yeah, but you'd, I'd much rather spend the money now than um, spend double the money. That makes sense. Yeah, but the only thing I think of is that I don't. Do you want a proper tools box? Like, do you want a bigger toolbox? No. Need to change that door lock. is done and the onions and now we just got to get the water to the boil cook that for a little bit add it all in there you're gonna have to pull that outside baby hmm? you have to pour it outside when you do it the water just open the little window or oh, the door can open actually i've got the key in it hmm? yeah perfect so what's there for oh yeah it always says that time but it's never that time There's so much noise in this room, I apologise. I got distracted on my phone and now the pasta is a bit too soft, so I have to get that straight into the air fryer to get it on bake and get the cheese on it. I'm currently burning myself. So I just need to put the cheese on it and then it's ready to bake. bake is done so I'm just gonna serve that up now for me and Josh to eat um, whilst it's still hot so I'm probably gonna end this vlog here 
Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment for more. Bye guys.